yesterday, but we want to make sure that we are here today for you guys. Um, and today we're going to be talking about how to generate leads utilizing our small business money flow tool. If you haven't already, you can go over to the YouTube channel and watch some of the previous videos um, about uh, the SB money flow and um, how we got all that stuff working out. Oops, I got my I got my stuff all messed up. My apologies, guys. Um, but you guys can go over there, see exactly what we got going on over there and um, how we're going to get that rolling here. But uh, I got to turn some stuff off. Sorry. Um, that's one of the things that I got to turn off there. But uh, cool. We're coming back here soon. Let me get this blur uh, out of the way. There we go. Anyways, um, so you guys can go check that out on my YouTube channel and see some of the previous videos about the small business money flow. But today we're going to be talking about how to go about those leads today. And one of the key things when we're talking about leads and understanding the small business money flow is first to even understand what a lead is. Um, I think that's the most important thing here because uh, it'll help you understand why we're going to be using systems and why we're going to put automation in place, especially here in 2023, uh, if you want to get towards your freedom number. Um, you got to have leads. I've never, ever come across a business in my life that does not need leads. So the other beauty about this is when you learn about you know, how to put the right systems in place to generate leads, you essentially kind of become recession proof uh, because, again, there's no business out here in this world that doesn't need leads, whether it's a restaurant, um, a government contracting consulting firm or a government contracting construction company, um, you name it. It needs a lead. So that's the importance of a lead. And with everything that we got going on here in 2023, um, the, the whole lead thing is getting crazier and crazier because uh, leads can come from social media, right? Uh, but the beauty about the small business money flow is that we have literally a system that can generate leads for no matter the niche. And one of the... Uh, Industries that really love our systems when it, we're talking about leads is like your real estate community, um, as well as your financial community, like insurance and things of that nature, uh, because of the way that our system helps you to generate leads. But we're going to dive into that today. So make sure that you guys are hitting that like button, hitting that share button, and telling three other entrepreneurs to get on this live feed so they can find out exactly how they can utilize the small business money flow to help them generate leads as well. Don't forget, if you are watching this on replay, when you do watch it, you do the exact same thing. Hit that like button, hit that share button, and make sure you share this out with three other entrepreneurs. But before we get rolling here down um, our segment for today, uh, hopefully I'm streaming on LinkedIn. I tried some features out. Um, I don't know if it's going to be working or not, but hopefully it is. But anyways, if you guys want to follow me over on Instagram, you can actually go ahead and scan that barcode right there. Um, I try to keep you guys up to date about everything that we got going on on my stories on Instagram. So that will be the best place to go ahead and follow me. So go ahead, do that over there. The next thing that I want to show you guys is our YouTube. So every training that I'm doing Tuesday through Thursday at 7 p.m. Again, we usually would do this yesterday, but it was Thanksgiving. But Tuesday through Thursday at 7 p.m. Eastern time zone, I will be live. Uh, I'm trying to get us live on Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, and LinkedIn uh, at 7 p.m. But if there is a difficulty or something going on, all of the videos do get saved on my YouTube. So you can go ahead and go over to my YouTube channel, scan that barcode right there. And subscribe to the channel. You can go back and re-watch everything that we are talking about. Now, on next Tuesday at 7 p.m. Eastern, we, on our Dollars to Cents podcast show, uh, we will be talking about uh, ways to fix your credit the safest way. So if you guys are having some credit issues, don't worry about it. Just show up on Tuesday. I'm going to be telling you guys exactly a way that you can fix your credit that won't cost you one single dollar. 
I don't know what these credit gurus be talking about, but I'm going to tell you the safest way that you can go about fixing your credit. And this method is guaranteed to work for any and every body. That money that you would give to a credit guru, just save it and follow the directions. And I'll tell you exactly what we will be doing there next Tuesday, okay? The next thing that we have up here. Oops, sorry, I didn't mean to get rid of that one. Next Wednesday is our government contracting day at 7 p.m. Eastern. And we are going to be talking about should I contact the contract officer? That's always uh, often been a question that pops up uh, in my community. So we're going to go ahead and talk about that and tell you exactly how you guys should go about uh, talking to that contract officer, if you should at all. Again, that is next Wednesday at 7 p.m. Eastern. And next Thursday at 7 p.m. Eastern, we will be talking about how to set up your calendars for automation. Yes, how you could schedule and create appointments utilizing tools to make this thing a whole lot easier for you. You may have heard something called Calendly or Acuity or whatever that thing is called. Um, but we have something even better with Small Business Money Flow. And we're going to show you exactly how to utilize that to never, ever miss an appointment or a schedule ever again. And we're going to be showing you that next Thursday at 7 p.m. Eastern. And if you guys at any time want to take advantage of our tool here, Small Business Money Flow, you guys see that over there. You can scan that QR code and actually take advantage of our deal for the Small Business Money Flow. Uh, the deal will be available till the end of November. This is our Black Friday deal, but you guys can get our Elevate plan for the Small Business Money Flow, and you're gonna get my government contracting training included for free. You're gonna get access to my Black Cheat Code AI software for free. You're going to get access to my next 30 day challenge. Yes, 30 day challenge to help you build your business completely. That's going to kick off January the 2nd. Uh, so you're going to get access to that completely for free. And you're going to get a chance to resell the entire programs that we're talking about and earn yourself affiliate commissions. So make sure you scan that QR code. Join us over here at the Small Business Money Flow. It's going to be the business solution that each and every one of you guys need, no matter what your niche of business is. So we're about to dive into this thing because we're going to be talking about this small business money flow today and how you're going to utilize it to help you generate some leads. If at any time you have questions about anything, make sure you put a cue in the chat so I can see it and then I will answer it here a little bit later on. But before we start diving into this, again, if you're watching on replay, if you're sitting here right now, I need you to put in a chat, I am a millionaire, because again, it all starts right there. I don't care what I teach you, okay? I can teach you every step of the way of how I generate million of millions of dollars, and again, I'm going to show you, so that's not uh, anything different. I've been showing you guys that, but you have to believe that you can follow the steps that... I show you or anybody else. That's where it starts with. So you need to believe that you are a millionaire. So I always tell you guys to type in there, I am a millionaire, because at the end of the day, it's all going to fall on your shoulders. But let's get this party started. I'm going to change my screen here. Um, doo -doo -doo -doo. So we're inside of Small Business Money Flow. Once you guys get registered for Small Business Money Flow, you uh, should come to a, <clears throat> a uh, uh, onboarding page. On that onboarding page, uh, it's actually going to have where you guys have to fill in a little bit of information so we can get your account set up properly. And then you're going to schedule onboarding calls with my team so we can make sure that your account gets set up the way that we need it to be set up so you can immediately start generating some revenue as well as most importantly generate leads i mean quickly you can start generating leads utilizing our system here but it's important that you follow our onboarding steps when you get uh, this program okay very important that you go do not skip the page of onboarding guys you got to deal with my team so we can get you set up properly, okay? But anyways, when you get set up, let me zoom in here. 
we have already programmed this bad boy uh, for the average person who does not really know too much um, about this whole internet thing yet. Um, I'm trying to get enough of my screen right here. All right, maybe that'll do. So when I told you guys the first step to getting more leads is first we need to know what is a lead. Now, a lead to me, okay, is anything that has the potential to turn into a financial transaction, okay? It could be a person, place, thing, I don't care what you call it. But a lead to me is anything that has the potential to turn into a financial transaction. So if you can understand that definition of what a lead is, now your mind should open up because a lot of things can become leads because a lot of things have the possibility of turning into a financial transaction. You could have a house. A house has an address, a location, and all of that stuff. There's a potential lead right there. There's this house. We can document it. We can keep track of it. But to every type of thing like a house, there's always a person attached to it. So in order to get the correct lead, I need the person. Because you can't have a thing without somebody that's going to be selling that thing. So since I understand that, now every lead should be a person that turns into a potential transaction. But I had to start it with the basic definition so you don't skip over those things like a house or a lead could be a TV deal, right? There's so many things and you're an electronics person, right? And you sell TV. So there could be a lead for TVs, but at the end of the day, in order to get that TV, there's a person attached to it. I got to, I got to transact with a person. I can't transact with the TV. So now that I can understand that, I need to create systems that can grab a person's contact information. Because without their contact information, I have no lead. Because I need to be able to follow up. F you with my potential lead. If I don't get your correct contact information, then I don't have a correct lead. Now, with small business money flow, we realized that you guys had extreme problems. And when I say you guys, as a, <laughs> if it's your first time following me, um, when, uh, most times I'm talking about myself, right? I paid attention to all of my flaws and then come to find out as I've been coaching um, and helping a lot of businesses. You guys all have my same flaws that I have. We're not that different at all. I'm going to find out a lot of business owners are not that different at all. But I found out that a lot of people keep trying to follow what the 1% do. And they're listening to people who aren't the 1%. When instead, in order to get to where the 1% get to or where they're at making all of that money, like you got to make a million dollars first. So you can actually find out a lot of information if you wouldn't seek what the 1% do and you would look at the millionaire in your own backyard. You would look at the millionaire that you can see yourself being like and one that you can actually physically touch. You can go see, you can pick up the phone and call, right? So once I started to transition that way, I realized, well, wait a minute, all of the millionaires are all really operating the same way. Like we're, we we all go through the exact same issues. I was trying to find my notebook here. Um, that's how bad it was. I can't even find it no more. But I had a notebook with all of these contacts in it and all of these notes in it. And it was getting so nasty that I couldn't keep up with it. And then every week I was realizing I, I'm losing leads. And if you lose leads, that means that you're losing money. And since I, I was just looking so nasty trying to stress my brain out, I was telling the brain like, hey, you're powerful enough brain that you can go to a meeting that has over 1500 people in it 
you get about 50 to 60 business cards. That means that you're shaking 50 to 60 different hands. And I'm saying, hey, bring. I'm going to command that you remember the people that you needed to remember all of their contact information, the discussion that we had while we were talking right there for the first five minutes. And I had to go do the same thing with 40 other people. And I'm saying, Brent, you're going to remember all of that. And then I come home and I deal with life and I look at emails and text messages and, you know, the girl and all of this stuff going on. And I'm saying, hey, Brent, I still want you to remember what happened at 11 o'clock. Then I go to sleep and then I wake up and I've forgotten all of this stuff because the brain is that powerful. The brain is so powerful that often we kind of downplay its capabilities. We forgot that during the process of us giving it all of those big commands that the brain had to process colors that it seen over to the left. The brain had to process 30 different conversations that was going on while you was having one conversation. The brain had to process getting you from point A to point B, but we didn't even think about all of the stuff that the brain was doing. As you're listening to me right now, the brain can hear me. The brain is processing stuff out of your eyes because you may be sitting at a computer. You may be listening to me while you're driving, but the brain is processing 50 different things right now that you're not even thinking about. And I'm telling you that because we expect the brain to do too much when it's already doing the most. But if we put a system in place and say, hey, brain, I don't need you to stress out about certain things. Instead, I want to optimize you, brain, so you can perform at your best and not worry about these little things. So with SB Money Flow, we say, hey, we want to take the process away from the brain for compiling leads and remembering what to do. Now, previously, I showed you guys how we get our government contracting leads. We come right down here to our marketplace, to our cheat codes right here. You guys go ahead and log into the system. Again, once you get registered or whatnot um, through the onboarding page, you can come right here to your opportunities, right? And look at potential leads. These are contracts. These are potential leads. But here goes the kicker. Through our research we're helping you with your leads to be better because that's just the contracts, right? That's the RFP, the opportunities, but I told you every opportunity has a person attached to it. So when we come through here and look through our research and we say, hey, the VA has all of our money and we come click on the VA and then we look inside of the VA, there's a bunch of sub agencies under Department of Veterans. And we say, OK, well, the Technology and Acquisition Center in New Jersey has my money. But when I click right here, look at all of the leads that I have for the agency that has my money. These should be the people that I'm trying to get in front of. We've already factored all of this stuff out. We pulled the information out for you at, at the click of a button. That's for the government side. And I'm not going to harp on the government side today because that's not what we're here for. We're here to learn about the entire small business money flow tool. So the government side, that's how we're going to generate our leads. And then you take the same information that you pull off, of, pull from off of the government marketplace. And we've already labeled this stuff. So you can say, hey, well, I'm looking at a contract. So let me open this up. We're going to come here to our small business money flow. We're going to go to sites and we've already built this for you. So since you're looking at a contract lead, okay, we need to come click on contracts. We're going to click on this website. Now I remember it because we've set it up to say whatever your domain is dot com forward slash new money. So once you set your system up and you plug in your domain, you can always come to this when you put your domain in followed by new money. That's your lead system for contracts. So let's take a look at it. When it pops up here, all you're going to do, 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 come on. Stuff never wants to operate for me correctly. All right, let's do it this way. All right, so. When you pop it up here, as you can see, you're going to fill it in. You're going to put in the new contract information. When you put in all the new contract information, 
Uh, we're just going to put Tiffany Maker, RP GovCon, solicitation number, next code, the date that it got posted, the response date. Now, you notice I told you this is a new contract, but all new contracts have a person attached to it. We're going to put the agency CMS. We're going to put uh, the value. It's going to be that amount. We're going to say test title. I know I spelled that wrong. It's okay. Um, we're going to put the link to the solicitation, some crazy description or RFI. If you want to put in any notes right here, so maybe, you know, call subcontractor by 2 p.m., right? That could be something that you need to put right there. You hit submit. That's going to go over into your system. So then we're going to come back over here to our small business money flow. I got a text message in my phone to let me know that I got a new lead in place. It's going into my system to say, hey, Travis, come over to your opportunities, to your CRM, and now we have the new lead right here. The beauty about it is I can track the lead now. I can say, okay, this lead is in review, okay? This lead is in progress. We submit it towards this lead. This lead is about to turn into some money. Now we can say whether we won the lead, we lost the lead, or maybe we won't respond to the lead at all but I can track it now. That's the whole purpose of this thing. We have to be able to track what we're doing so we know what to replicate. Eventually you should have a whole column of leads over here that say one, and you should have a column that say loss, and you should have a column that say, I won't respond. When I can compile all the information, I now have direction on how to move forward every day because eventually I'm only going to do the things that turn into wins and I'm going to stop doing all of the stuff that turned into losses. But without having the data, I'm stressing the brain to say, hey, I want you to remember everything that I did right or wrong. Plus, I want you to remember all the contacts and all the leads. Now, the other beauty about our lead system right here is that when you are looking at these leads and you want to contact them, not only can you come here and put task in, okay, just like I said, you could assign team members different things to do. Maybe you got to get uh, an email sent out to them. You need to go to a meeting or something. You assign all the tasks right here. And maybe you need to book an appointment because you're on the phone with that lead right now and you guys want to schedule a call. Well, you just come right here to the system. If this was my live account, my calendars would be up here. And I could go ahead and program in my calendar, boom, 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 a meeting would get done and send off to them, okay? That is how quickly we're going to get the leads. But again, that was for the government contracting side. So let's come back to our sites again. That's for contracts when they come in, as you're out in the streets and you're talking to people. We've already set this up for you too. I'm not asking you to build any of this. I'm telling you once you buy into small business money flow, all of this stuff is already set up for you. We want our business owners to get rolling right now and stop making excuses. Are the graphics going to be pretty? Absolutely not. Will the system work? Absolutely it will. Have I been across majority business owners that I've done large transactions with? They never cared about the graphics. They cared about does your stuff work or not? Our systems are going to work. Get out of the emotions about, oh, you know, I want this to look right. What? Does it work? Does it flow? Yes. Let's move forward. As you generate revenue and you generate leads and start making money, you can pay people to go back and make it look pretty. But I'm telling you guys right now, pretty ain't never got me paid. Okay? Now, if you're out in the streets and you're talking to an individual, we created the FU system. All right? I tell people all the time, how many times a day do you say F you? And I mean, follow up. So right here, as you're talking to people, once you get your domain connected again inside of small business money flow, all you're going to do is come here to settings to every one of these sites. You're going to come put your domain connect it, and then hit save. What's that, what that is going to do is enable the domain. This is a live website now. So now while I'm out in the streets, I can remember mydomain.com forward slash F you. So if I'm on my phone and I'm talking to somebody, they give me their business card. I just go to this website, mydomain.com forward slash F you. And when I do that, what should end up happening, let's see, I probably got to do the preview. Yep. Here you go. 
It pulls up. I got my new contact right here. I put in the same thing, put their information in. Once I hit submit, it's going to go over into my CRM tool. And now I got that person's contact. I can move them around. Maybe I need to attach them to a certain contract that I'm trying to go after. But now again, I can document all of this stuff. I got it all at the palm of my hand and I'm not stressing the brain out anymore. Okay. Now that's one thing, but I told you we're in 2023 leads come from all over the place. I do not have fun on my social media accounts. Although a lot of people think I'm having fun on social media because I make it look good and I am actually kind of having fun doing it. I don't use social media accounts to play around with. Social media accounts have the opportunity to get leads all across the world. You guys are watching the replays of my YouTube and I see your screenshots that you showed me on Instagram thanking me for the information. And all I can help to see is, oh my God, in 2023, you have the opportunity for your lead, your perfect customer, your perfect lead that they are sitting down at this moment and they got you on the big screen in their house. Like I get amazed every time somebody sends me a picture and they're watching me on the TV in their house. Do you know how much back in the day it costs to get on somebody's TV screen and we're doing it at a click of a button right now on YouTube and people are playing around? This stuff is free. You got to stop treating it like a game. What if you start treating these social media accounts like the business that it's supposed to? Because it, the owner of the social media accounts, they're treating you like a business. They're charging you to be on the profile. So what if you didn't play around no more? And you say, well, wait a minute. There's a system for me to capture leads every single day. Every time I make a video, yes, I know I have my old followers on there that's watching it. But I'm honestly making a video for the new person that's never seen me before. Because the old people, y'all watching me, this like our 15th video. Y'all know who I am. But every single time I post a video, I got an opportunity to get in front of new eyeballs that don't know who I am. And I stream everywhere. YouTube, Facebook, LinkedIn, Instagram, Tik. Well, I ain't on TikTok. There's a whole other conversation, but whatever. I'm on these social profiles because of the opportunity it gives me to generate a lead that I know I can serve. And all of us have the opportunity to do that. So with SB Money Flow, I started to realize that. And I said, well, wait a minute. We don't want to just help our businesses generate money from the government. We have to really help them with systems that's going to get them to generate money from the government, business to business, and business to consumer. So let's talk about the business to consumer. But when you guys get set up in SB Money Flow, um, you're going to come down here. You're going to go to your settings and mind you, again, my team is already going to set this up for you when you go to your onboarding call. So you don't really have to worry about Travis. How do I set it up? Just sign up and let my team help you out. Okay. But what's going to end up happening is first thing we need to get a calendar in place. Okay. So we've already set up some calendars for you. 15 minute calendars, 30 minute calendars, your own personal calendar. So we're going to set all of that up because that's very important when it comes to generating leads. Then we're going to talk about your whole reputation management. This is going to be your Google profiles, your Yelp profiles and things of that nature. Because again, people are looking at you uh, on these profiles and we're going to be able to manage all of your scoring when it comes to sending emails out and how people are responding to you. Again, we're going to do all of that. But the most important thing that I want to show you here is, uh, do, 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 do. you know what? I always, I still got to figure out how I'm going to get this one on demo to show you guys. All right, I'll switch over to my main account. Um, hopefully there's nothing on here crazy. But you're going to set up all of your social media accounts and then you're going to see this tab called conversations. And inside of your conversations, as you can see, well, now we can track everybody on Instagram. So when you see people sending all of those automated DMs and responding back to you so quickly, like we just set this stuff up in automation. So I tell you guys all the time, if you look at my Instagram DM, I say, send me the words, get started. Well, let me show you why. When we come over here and we connect all of your social media accounts, let me come back to my demo account. 
We've programmed this, okay? So you would come down here and you would come to automations. And when we go over to automations, you just gotta think about it, okay? Well, Travis already has a bunch of stuff set up. So what's happening right now? Um, I'm looking for a lead to come to me from my social profile. So let me take a look through the automations that have been created here, okay? So as I scroll through here, what do we got? Incoming lead follow-up. Let's just read through all of this stuff real quick. We got new leads pipeline automation. Well, we're talking about leads, right? So we probably should pay attention to a folder called leads. We got a nurture campaign. Nurture usually means like, okay, we're like pampering somebody, letting them know who we are. We're nurturing them. So that's not a lead per se. That would be something that I would do to a lead after I get them in. I'm going to nurture them. Well, we're talking about leads right now, so I shouldn't look in a nurture folder. Lost and inactive contacts, that's not a lead. Database reactivation, that's not a lead. That's something that I do to a lead. Invoice checkout pages, that's not a lead. That is checking out, processing the payment. New contract opportunity, didn't I tell you? New contracts could be leads, so I could pay attention to that folder. Website schedule a call button. Well, if somebody's scheduling a call with me, that sounds like a lead, right? So I probably should pay attention to that one. We got a cancel no show. That's not a lead. That's somebody that already came in as a lead and they canceled the call. Then we got incoming lead follow up. I should pay attention to that folder. We got um, do, 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 Twillo, incoming calls, missed calls, text messages. I think leads come through phone calls and text messages. So I need to pay attention to that one. Um, we have an email opt-in lead. I should pay attention to that. We have holidays, refund requests, database reactivation, refer a friend, list cleanup, resubscribe. So I'm going to go back to one. And at the top, we had new lead pipeline automation. Because we're talking about leads, I want to see what did we already build for you guys. All right. We're talking about new leads. So what does it say? Status update, review setup per your process. So you're going to come through here and this is the process of what to do when people schedule appointments, right? So we can already automate this thing. When somebody goes to our website and schedules an appointment, what are we going to do? If they was a no show for the call that they went on, guess what this does? It says, Hey, is this a no show? Yes, this is a no-show. This is what I want you to do. I want you to go into the system. I want you to label that lead as a no-show. I want you to add to a contact list that they're no-show type people because we ain't going to keep dealing with no-shows. We're going to let the system deal with no-shows, not us. See, a lot of you guys spend too much time talking to people that ain't trying to turn into a transaction. So we're putting a system in place to deal with the people that don't want to transact so you can focus on the people that want to transact. So we're going to label all this. They're going to go into your pipeline so you can note that this person did not show up, whether it's you or anybody on your team. They can all see it. We're going to update the appointment status, right? If this person was, uh, they weren't a no-show, they actually came on, then we're going to say, okay, well, that means that they showed, right? So if they did show, well, here you go. We're going to put a note in there. We're going to put it on a pipeline that they showed. We're going to put an appointment status update. Well, guess what? You're going to go inside of the person's profile because you should have their stuff pulled up while you're talking to them on the phone or on a Zoom call. So you could put notes in right there. And then guess what? You're going to put the note in right. Well, it's going to be on the site. It's, this is the automation built in the back end. You don't have to really pay attention to this. It's already built out. You're just going to be clicking buttons and this is going to follow the steps. We're going to say, hey, in those note takings, you're going to say, do you want to send the customer a recap of what's talked about? If you click that button, yes, guess what it's going to do? It's going to send them an email with the video replay. It's going to send them a text message with the video replay. We do all of this stuff because this cancels chargebacks too. See, people can't say that I didn't get what I wanted or I never got the call or the emails. and blah. Yes, you did. Because we already set it up and we're tracking the whole thing. I can go straight to the person and pull up the whole conversation. All of these messages 
that I said go out the email, the thank yous and all of that, it's all automated. I'm not doing it physically. We set this up for you already. So the minute you get involved with SB Moneyflow, this process works. So let's see. That was what we're going to do uh, for people who are on your calendar. Well, let's look at the next thing that we had. Uh, do, 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 do. Come on down here. Where were we at? We already, well, let's take new contract opportunities, okay? So let's take a look at your new contract opportunities. Same thing. We're going to have these new contracts. They're going to go into your CRM. So that website that I showed you how you put all your information in, this is the back end of it. We said, hey, you got some new information. You need to add it to the pipeline. You need to put a note right there. You need to send a notification that comes to the phone to say that I got a new contract. We're going to wait 60 minutes. Then it's going to send a text message out. It's going to send um, an email out. It's going to wait another couple seconds and then kick him out of his workflow and take him to the next one. That's for contracts, okay? All of this stuff is going to be programmed already when you get signed up. You got your web website schedule a call button. Well, here you go. We've already got the tab set up. So when somebody comes to your website, they schedule a call. Here's the entire workflow. There you go. What happens? I love this. This is the beauty. Guys, this is why you never lose a follow-up when you follow our system. Because the system's going to do the work that you wouldn't do. The system is going to do the work that stops you from being a millionaire. I promise you the only thing that's stopping you from being a millionaire right now at this moment is you suck at following up with people. So we're eliminating this. So you never, ever miss a call. Whether it's somebody reaching out to your business or you're scheduling appointments with people that could potentially change your life. So here you go. Somebody needs to schedule a call with them. Okay, well, what's going to happen since this lead came into your system? It's going to knock them off all of the other workflows, the no-shows, the request to call. It's going to remove all of them. It's going to schedule the call confirmation email. So this email is going to go to the person using their first name. We already got the email laid out. It's going to say, hi, their name. We received your request to schedule a call. Here's your meeting location. If you're using Zoom, Google Meet, whatever, blah, blah, blah. It's going to send them all that information. You don't have to do it. Then it's also not just going to send them an email because we know people like chargebacks and we don't do the chargeback game. Okay, now, this is if you are charging or whatnot. You could be doing this for free. But we're going to send them a text message too. So we're going to send them an email. We're going to send them a text message. We're going to make sure they get this. Then we're going to add them a tag into our system so we know where this person came from. They came from a call. We're going to get a note inside of our system. We're going to get an alert sent to us to let us know that we got a new appointment set up. All right. They're going to get added to our pipeline as a new inquiry. We're going to wait two days before the appointment. It's going to send them an email reminder. It's going to send them a text message reminder two days before. It's going to wait four hours before the appointment. Then it's going to send them an email four hours before the appointment, a text message four hours before the appointment. Ten minutes before the appointment is going to notify us that we have a meeting ten minutes before the appointment. It's going to text them that they have a meeting ten minutes before the appointment. It's going to give them a phone call that there's a meeting 10 minutes before the appointment. It's going to call me and remind me that I need to get on a call 10 minutes before. And then it's going to go ahead and send out a notification in the system. Now, there should be no reason that you nor the other person got on this call. That's how the follow-up game goes. I just took your business to the next level simply because you let the system do the work instead of you trying to remember to get on all of these calls and... Uh, try to expect another person's brain that you need something from. See, the, the kicker to following up with people is you need something from the other person. They don't need a damn thing from you. So you don't have the systems to help the other person out on the other end because trust me, they have no system for reminders set in place. They're expecting you to do all of this for them. And if you don't have that million dollar system in place to remind them, this is what stops you from being a millionaire. It's just as simple. All right, so we did the whole phone call thing. Again, you're going to get all of this when you sign up for SB Money Flow. It's already going to be programmed in. All right, now let me keep going here. Do, 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 do. Where am I at? Where am I at? Right. Nope. Here we go. 
I gotta remember all of my leads. All right, so you're gonna have websites that we've already created for you. They have lead opt-in forms. So when somebody gives, uh, if, say you're selling a program or something, you need, you'll see on my stuff, you opt into something before you can get to it. Because now that you opted in, I can tag you right here that you are opt-in to my government contract and training course. Just in case if you don't buy, I got the system already set up to say, hey, this person has not purchased yet. You now need to nurture them until they purchase. The system is sending y'all emails out. And guys, I know a lot of y'all be texting back into my system and emailing me. I know it may look like it's me, but it's the system, guys. I sat down one day and I programmed this thing out in the same way that I programmed it out. And you think that you talking to me, that's the exact same system that you guys are going to get when you sign up for the small business money flow today It's going to work the exact same way. And again, when a lead turns into a win, we've set this up right here, right? So now a lead, they moved into the pipeline as a win. So now the dollar amount is going to change on them because they're no longer a lead. They're now a client or a, a one opportunity. So we're going to be tracking all of this stuff. It's going to automatically move inside of your CRM as you take them uh, through those different stages. Now, let me see where else are we at. Uh, da, 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 da. Now, here comes your incoming leads. Now, I told you guys there's multiple ways to get leads with social media. So here we go. We've already programmed this stuff out for you. So Facebook Messenger, say somebody's sending you a message on Facebook Messenger. Well, here it goes. A customer replied on Facebook message. We're going to put a note in the system that you've received a message from somebody on Facebook message. Is this a contact with a tag already? Because you may, you know, people be DMing you all the time, right? So if they have a tag, you don't want the automation to automatically start working on them. So you're saying, hey, if it does not have a tag, okay, yes, they don't have a tag. Well, we should go to work on these people. So the first thing the system is going to do is going to add them a note and say, yes, this is a new lead. We've never seen them before. It's going to go into your pipeline as a new lead opportunity from Facebook. It's going to notify you that you have a message inside of your Facebook messenger from a potential new lead. And it's going to show you exactly what they said in there. It's then going to wait for three minutes. Well, for 30 seconds. And then it's going to say, is it a time after 8 a.m. or 7 p.m.? That's the time that I set for my business hours. You can set your own time for your business hours. But when you sign up for SB Money Flow, this is how it'll be programmed in. All right. Now, if it's a time during that, yes. OK, well, we uh, you're going to message the weekdays, 8 a.m. You're going to send a message automatically to them and let them know we'll be with you shortly. Please feel free to call or text us. If you got your phone number set up, they can text you right there. Again, it's all inside of the same system. If they text you, we now capture their phone number to the lead, which is great. That's what we want. We want people to text us so we can capture the data that comes to the palm of their hand. Now that I got it right there, we're saying, hey, we're going to be with you shortly. Just be patient. And now I've got an alert on my phone. I can follow up with them right there. We're telling this system to wait 90 minutes. You can start adding any feature here that you want them to do. Weekend hours, same thing. We got this whole thing set up for weekend hours. Now, let's come back here. Now, I need to show you guys. I probably going to have to go into my, um, I don't think I programmed it here, but Instagram DMs. If I come here to Instagram DMs, the same exact thing. I can control all the Instagram DMs. If the contact tag does not have it in there, okay, this is a new inquiry. It's going into users. Add a tag for Instagram DMs. Then message them. We're going to say the same thing. Hey, we'll be with you shortly. Is this something that we can help you out with? Now I'm not playing around with these people in my Instagram DMs. Now here goes the other kicker. You guys may see in my Instagram, I tell you guys, get started, right? You can DM me the word, get started. Let me come over here to my actual live profile. I believe I turned it off, actually. Um, doo -doo -doo -doo. Is it this one? No, that's the new leads. See, look, I forget my own stuff sometimes. As you guys can see, mine is a little more... And you guys have the option to build your own stuff, too. I'm just telling you, we have stuff set up for you to get rolling right now. But you have the power to do your own thing. So 
This is one that I set up. Here it goes. Social DM. Get started. Let's. Oh, hold on. Let me go back. This this one is really intensive. OK, so as I click right here, I say, hey, this is what I want you to do. When I get a message from Facebook or Instagram that says get started, this is what I want to happen. Right. And I like as you guys can see, I really did this thing. Like, are they sending me the message help? If they're sending me the message help, um, I want to see, do we have emails on file for them already that they were already asking for help? And see, this thing gets crazy. I got to ask for government contracting help. If they're asking me for government contracting help, I need you to send them this. If they're asking for CRM help, I need you to send them this. If they're asking for business support, send them this. Like, I'm showing you this because I need your brain, that powerful brain that says, hey, if a contact would come to me, this is the stuff that I would do. I'm telling you to build it. However, you would need to walk your, your lead through, build it so your lead can turn into a client. And you're not stressing the brain anymore. And you're not losing your leads. So that's how I have it built out, right? For get started. Again, I had to turn it off because look, it was getting crazy. I was getting 6,000 messages, frequently asked questions. You can build this out. Instead of me keep sitting there and answering, look, it told me the workload was on an overload, right? Instead of people asking me all these frequently asked questions, I just built it out. Somebody put in their question. Well, you need to send them this message. If you see the word question, you need to send it to where they got it, whether it was text message, because maybe they text my website question. So I need to respond to that. Was it a Facebook DM, Instagram DM? Did they do it on Google My Business? Wherever they sent me the word question, at, I need you to go do this, do this next set of work. But I'm not about to sit there and keep responding to people. And I don't even know if they're serious or not. See, what I'm trying to do is save you guys time from doing tedious work. I call it STDs. You're giving yourself S-H-I-T to do. So you like to just be busy so you can say, oh, well, I was working so hard. I've been Travis. Oh, my God. I've been working so hard. It just ain't nothing working out. And I go, well, what are you working so hard on? Oh my God, Travis, I've been DMing 50 people and they won't respond. Well, you were dancing on a video. What do you expect those 50 people to do? Like you're having fun on a video. They're not serious because you ain't serious. You know what I'm saying? You don't see me dancing on no videos. I'm not doing what's trending just so I could try to get 50,000 new followers. Instead, I'm creating content for my potential lead that can turn into a customer. Whether five people like it or five million people like it, I'm only making content for the business purposes of what my platforms are for. And then on the back end, I say, I still know that I'm going to have people playing around since Sending somebody a DM don't make money. Travis ain't about to sit there and send people DMs all day. But what I will do is create a system that can shuffle through the people, sort out through the people, and find the person that I do need to talk to. The person that will turn into a transaction and not play around. I let the systems do this stuff for me. And it starts right here by just understanding, like, how do you want things to flow? Again, if you aren't a creative person at this moment, don't worry about it. We've programmed stuff already for you so you can jump in and just get rolling. And then you can understand, well, wait a minute, small business money flow is the Lamborghini. It is the Ferrari. I got the tool. Now I just need to come in here and start building. Thank you for getting the car started and moving along the road. But I'm about to put some 99 octane in this thing. I'm about to go let my mind build out a flow for me of how I needed to operate. And when that starts happening, I don't want you to start your system from scratch. Instead, I want you to go, hold on, wait a minute. In my process, I'm about to get a lead. Well, Travis made a folder called leads, incoming lead follow-up. Let me click on the incoming lead follow-up. Well, somebody is going to be requesting a call. Now, 
I don't want the request callback flow exactly how Travis made it, but I do like the way that it started. So all I should do is come right here, click copy, okay? All I'm gonna do is copy this entire workflow because I don't wanna interrupt the original just in case I need to go back. But I'm gonna copy the whole workflow and then I'm gonna come in here and tweak it. So I'm not starting from scratch trying to figure out, well, mm, well, what should I do? I've already got something laid out for you. Just add whatever little tweaks in there that you wanna do for callbacks. So boom, that's your automations, right? But in order for automations and stuff to work, like I showed you guys for the social platforms, the social platform is the top of your funnel. But for your websites, your calendars and things of that nature, they gotta be built out. Well, don't worry about it. We already built that out too. Just come click on sites. For your calendars, guess what? You can come right here, click on calendar, your general calendar. Again, we're gonna have our team set this stuff up for you so you don't have to worry about setting up, but it's already programmed in. You come right here. Now, again, I don't have my calendar set up on this actual one, but you could come right here to the link and this would pop up your calendar right here. And now you just send people the links to your calendar so the system can do the work. It's gonna give them the thank you page. It's gonna automate and send out the emails and the text messages. This is why I want you guys to start with the system that I got because we've already built it. So now you got all your calendars already done. Great. Now, what else do I need? Our funnels, your request callbacks, your opt-in forms. Let's take a look at your opt-in form. Now again, I told you, don't worry about sexy. So all you would do is come in here. Well, what is the opt-in form? Maybe you got a book or something that you're trying to push. Well, you're trying to, or maybe you got a community or something you're telling people to opt into. So you just come right here, click on edit page. You change your headline, all right? Just change this headline. And if you were smart, you would just go to chat GPT. Ask chat GPT, give me a headline for such and such or whatever I'm trying to do with an opt-in page. Boom, put all the information in there. You come right here, change this picture if you want to change the picture, right? Just click right there, come to upload media library and pull whatever image you want right there. Just that quick. Now you got an image and you have a form. You could click save and I mean within 10, 15 minutes you should have a website that you could drop into your Instagram or something of that nature and instead of just having people visit your social media platforms and you creating this content and your content you would tell them to click the link in my bio so you can capture their data. We've built it out. So now you just need to pay attention and say, okay, well, if I'm using a lead opt-in form, that's Z006. Well, if I have a lead opt-in form, usually there should be messages that come after that, right? So I will come here to marketing. See, we already built this stuff out for you, man. We've be, we, we been thinking about y'all real bad, real, real bad. So I would come over here to marketing. I would go to email templates, right? And then look, what do we have? The emails for the follow-up, Z00s, right? So we could follow the numbers along. What did it say? This is gonna be your email follow-up. Now that's Z004, we was looking at 006, I believe, all right? So let me keep coming back. Where are we at? It's for my emails. Here we go. This is for all of my text messages. So again, we're looking for Z. See, we already did this nurture campaign. When people come to you, all the text messages and stuff is already done. We got over 300 days worth of text messages that's gonna go out. So we look for Z006, Z007, Z006. Okay, here's your new lead opt-in form. So we've already put some stuff right here, but now all you have to do, we've already set it up. Just go to the templates of Z006 and you're like, okay, well, we couldn't literally set it up entirely for your business, but here you go. Since you're using the website that we already told you guys with the form that we told you guys, remember you can click copy so you can manipulate it, change the words, the colors or whatnot, but the form is still gonna stay the same. So now I'm here. All I'm gonna do is click right there and I can change it up. So what do you wanna say when a person opt in? I appreciate you. I don't know, like type it in, whatever. 
You click save and now you ain't got to worry about it no more. You know that every time somebody opts in, they all going to get the same message. It's going to have their name in it. It's going to feel catered to them because the system is going to do all this work for them. So, again, that's how we do the websites. But we ain't done. We're not done with your leads, man. You know those link trees? Well, we already got those built out for you, too. <laughs> again, we... Now, granted, I don't... I keep forgetting this is my demo account, so all my colors and stuff ain't set up. But if all your colors and stuff is set up, which, again, will help you do when you onboard, um, all you got to do is just simply come in and change a couple words. See, all this stuff is programmed in. So when we get all of your social media accounts set up and whatnot, all this is going to be programmed in. This could be the link that you put in your Instagram account, and you ain't got to pay link tree and all of that other stuff. Plus, you got full control. You could decorate it, do whatever you want. Again, we just built sites already pre-built. You now have the Ferrari Lamborghini that you could technically go build all your own stuff. But we tried to help out the person that you've been cheating yourself and telling you, like, I don't know what to do. I don't know how to do that. Well, we did it for you. So you can just keep moving. And here goes the last beauty about this is your whole website. If you want to build a website, don't worry about it. Y'all seen the 004s already. Well, we already have a website built out for you. Come right here, business coaching. You can come right here. It got your home appointments because remember, everybody usually need to book an appointment somewhere. So you can come right here. You can edit this bad boy up quickly. Put your pictures, replace your pictures, put your headlines. But you can now see the flow of how it all goes. And all of this stuff, guys, is just is literally just drag or drop. And the other beauty, you can't mess it up. Especially if you copy it how I told you to copy first. And then you can just drag and drop stuff wherever. Leave it if you mess up. Don't save it. That way you can come right back in and fix the mistakes that you made. But we're trying to make this extremely easy for each and every one of you guys. Now, this is just a portion of small business and money flow. We just focused on the leads today. Because that's one of the most important factors to me is how do you generate leads? If you can't generate leads, you ain't making no money. Small business money flow can help you guys not just generate opportunities from our GovCon marketplace, which once again, you guys can go back to the YouTube training and see exactly how this GovCon marketplace works. But we're also helping you with business to consumer and business to business, because guess what? Again, I haven't gotten into it today, but the same exact leads that you guys are going through, well, not only can we just do that, we can send them proposals and estimates all right here into the same system. So we can track all of this information. So when we come right here and we come to our contacts and we're looking at these individuals, I can follow up and see if they sign the contract. If they got the proposals, the emails, the text message, I can see it all right here. I can stay on top of my leads, which is going to get you your millions. This is the only reason that majority of you businesses are not millionaires today because your systems suck. Point blank, period. A small business money flow is here to help you. Instagram, I'm about to fire you back up in a second. That is the only thing that is stopping you guys from being the millionaires that each and every one of you guys deserve to be. Once again, you guys can get involved today with SB Money Flow. Scanning that QR code right over there or right here, sorry. We have a special for you guys, our Black Friday special. Our Elevate plan is the plan that you want to go with. All the features that I've showed you and how it's going to operate only works on the Elevate plan. Okay? With that, you're going to get access to my 30-day challenge that we're going to help you in 30 days. Again, all of this stuff is going to be set up for you. But our 30-day challenge, I'm going to break that mind down. I'm going to have you build all of this stuff out and we're going to get busy in 30 days driving this Ferrari, no matter what your niche is.
no matter what your industry is. You're going to get access to that for free. That's going to kick off January the 2nd. You're going to get access to my government contracting e-course. And let me show you guys this. Hold on. Let me get back to this screen. You guys are going to get access to my government contracting e-course. Now, let me um, actually get to here. I got to go to the live one, sorry. But my GovCon University, you're going to get access to all of this training right here when it comes to government contracting. I sell this stuff for over $2,000. I'm including it in because I need you guys to have the systems. I realize the education ain't working without the system in place. So I'm going to give you guys the education to go on top of the system. All you got to do is log in. And we're going to break this down into great detail. Again, the Elevate plan is going to give you the full training. That you can see all of the pricing tools, everything about your uh, set-asides and whatnot. You're going to be able to see all of that information. So you ain't going to have to worry about that. All of the training will be there. You're going to learn about the GSA schedules. All of that information is going to be there. You're going to learn about all of my master classes, how to prospect government contract, convincing primes to put you on their team, how to set up your SAM profile, your accounting system, your fringe overhead, I'm selling now, who's buying, strategic ways to price your products and services. I'm telling you guys, all the training that you need for government contracting, you're going to get it included. You just need to get the software. You're going to get access to my black cheat code. My AI tool, I'm going to give it to you. That's how bad I want you guys to get the software. Don't worry about all of the other stuff. I told y'all, I've been teaching this for a long time. I realized the number one problem y'all are having is not the information, but you're so scared to move forward. And you're scared to move forward because you don't have million dollar systems. Hell, you don't have $10,000 systems. <laughs> so we fixing that. But giving you the education, but I need you to invest in the systems, not for me, but for you. I got a goal of getting 10 businesses to become millionaires in government contracting. And damn it, I can't get y'all there with these sorry systems that y'all got. We're giving you the Ferrari, but you still got to drive the Ferrari. The Ferrari only a two-seater. And I'm not getting out of my Ferrari to come get into yours. You got to be willing to get behind the wheel and drive for yourself. Again, I've given you everything that you need. You can't tell me that you need education anymore because we gave it to you. You can't tell me the cost of this stuff costs too much because I got it in the most affordable way. If you find me another system out there that's giving you the government contracting marketplace with all of the opportunities in there, another system that's giving you an opportunity to resell all of this stuff to make yourself some of your own coins, another system that's already programmed all of your automations out that the minute you sign up, it's just going to fly. Another system that has the whole onboarding structure for you so you ain't got to complain that I don't know what to do. Uh-uh. We got all that set up. All you got to do is get involved. And then you got to start taking action daily. But again, it's going to fall on you, not me. Once again, when you guys get signed up, you guys are going to come to a site the minute that you get signed up. Let me show you guys what it looks like because a lot of y'all been missing this step right here and it's important that you guys do not miss this step. All right, when you sign up, you're gonna, get, you're gonna come across your onboarding video that looks a little something like this. First of all, I need you to watch this video the minute that you purchase. Then once you get started, you're gonna click start now. Again, I need you to watch this video so you can learn how to get your system set up properly. You're going to need to log into your system because we need this API key. And we're going to need to know what your NAICS code is so we can set your company up in our government marketplace. Once you fill in all of your information, you hit submit. It's going to ask you a couple more steps. Get your social media profile and all of that good stuff. But most importantly, you're going to get to a point where you're going to have to schedule three calls. You're going to be scheduling a call with my tech team. 
My tech team is going to walk you through all the technicals of the software so you can get an understanding of that. You're going to need to schedule a call with my onboarding team. My onboarding team is going to make sure that your stuff is programmed in correctly and set up for your business as far as the entire system so it can send out your business name, emails, all that. We're going to make sure all of that stuff is straight for you. And then your last call that you're going to set up with is for our GovCon Marketplace team. They're going to make sure that you have an understanding of how to use the GovCon Marketplace. So it's very important that you follow the onboarding steps when you sign up for the software. Don't you come back to me and say, Travis, I don't know how to use XYZ because you didn't follow direction. And if you ain't following directions for this, again, this is how you not, this is how and why you not making it to your millions. Okay? So fix this problem and it'll solve a lot. Now, I do want to open the floor up. If anybody got any questions, you can go ahead and put a cue in the chat uh, while we switch here to this code again. When we go through our rundown for the week here, don't forget if you guys want to get involved with Small Business Money Flow and take advantage of the deals, uh, the price will go up. Okay, I'm letting you know the price does go up after November. That's another kicker. All right? But you want to take advantage of all this stuff before November pops up here. Uh, this next Thursday coming up at 7 p.m., we will be talking about those calendars that I went over, how we're going to uh, help you out with that so you no longer have to uh, worry about missing those appointments there. Um, what else do we have here? My bad, guys. I'm trying to pull all of my stuff back up. This coming Wednesday, we're going to be talking about how do you talk to that contract officer at 7 p.m. So you don't want to miss out on that. This coming Tuesday, oh, this credit thing, man. We're going to touch on this credit thing. So you don't want to miss out on our dollars to cents podcast, man. We got to put some dollars to cents around this whole credit situation that's going on here. So make sure that you guys are tuning in for that. Don't forget, you can get all of the training and everything that I got going on right here on my YouTube channel. So you can scan that QR code and stay up to date with everything that we got going on, as well as don't forget Every time, all of my information is staying updated on my Instagram story. So I highly advise you guys jump over there, follow me on Instagram so you can stay up to date about everything that we got going on over here. I appreciate you guys for tuning in with me today. My man Dexter said, I want my Ferrari. That's what I'm talking about, Dexter. Come get the Ferrari, man. Come hang out with the Ferrari club. Be about making this money over here. I miss my onboarding. How do I get it back? Okay, Larry, great question. Larry, there is a bubble. Come here. Come down here to do 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 do. Share my screen again. Come down here to Small Business Money Flow. Again, when you guys all get involved with this, make sure if you guys have questions, you're having problems, always visit Small Business Money Flow. You'll see this bubble right here. Go ahead, send a message to my tech team, Larry. Let them know that you got need to get your onboarding. As well as check your emails too, Larry, uh, because you should have gotten emails uh, to remind you to finish your onboarding. Um, so check your spam accounts when you guys get registered too uh, and tell your system we're not spam. Um, but anyways, you guys can always come here, get your questions answered by our tech support team, as well as once you sign into the software, There'll be a bubble down here for your tech support as well. Let me show you that right here. So once you guys are logged in, um, you'll see this help bubble right here. This is for the actual tech support team for the system. Uh, the other one at SB Money Flow is for my admin team. Okay, so they can answer all of your billing questions or whatever, something like that. Uh, once you want to log into your system, you can come back to SB Money Flow, log in here, and for all of the training or whatnot, uh, you can come right here and access the Money Vault, and all of your trainings will be back there that you have access to. All right. How can I go back to an onboarding? Again, I just went over that. Go to the chat bubble, talk to the team. If you've already done the onboarding once, you can't do it for free again. 
Uh, that'll be $99 to do it again. But if you have not done your onboarding call, message our team. We'll send you the links. And I, again, check your emails, your spam account. You've probably gotten an email from the system that say, hey, you did not complete your onboarding. Here is the link. But once again, if that did not come, come to SB Money Flow. Click the bubble right here. Send a message to the team so they can get you over the link to uh, get you onboarded. Cool. All right. Outside of that, I don't believe I see any more questions. I appreciate you guys for hanging out with me today. If you guys have got any valuable information out of today, I want you to put a fire emoji down in the chat from where you are tuning in from. That's how I know that you picked up what I put down. And if you're watching it on replay, I want you to put the fire emoji too. Let me know that was a fire if you make it all the way here to the end. Again, I appreciate you all. I love you all. Enjoy the rest of your Thanksgiving winning weekend. Hopefully you guys didn't eat too much. Y'all didn't spend too much of that money. And you guys are ready to become these millionaires that I know each and every one of you guys deserve to be. Once again, I love you all. I hope that you guys have an amazing weekend, and I will. Make sure y'all go to uh, the Apple Music Store, go yeah. to Google Play, so wherever you listen to music, you already, already know what it is. Shout outs to my man, Jerry Money. Money, baby. Don't forget, we need that new song for the Dollars and Cents podcast. Get out, appreciate all of y'all. I love you all. I'll talk to you guys later. Peace. 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 Stay safe out here. 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 Game added to your main frame. Gotta keep your mind sharp. You 